Okay, so for this one, we've got a slightly unusual way of representing data uh, that we'll talk about in a minute. Let's just read through the question. Uh, Lena recorded the number of late trains at a station in a day over a period of time. She shows this information in a diagram, and then here's the diagram. For this information, work out the median number of late trains in a day. Write your answer in the box below. So what this, uh, how this works, there is a key to help explain. Uh, this would mean that there are, f there are two days when four trains were late on each day. So if I asked you how many, how many days had nine late trains, the answer would be one. But how many days had two late trains, and the answer would be four. So these stars kind of show you how many days there were this many trains late. So um, if I wanted to write out the number of late trains, I could put two ones down uh, because there are two days where there were one late train. There were four days where there were two late trains. So that's four twos. There were three days where there were three late trains. There were two days where there were four, two days where there were five, uh, one day where there were six, no days where seven, no days where eight, but there was one day when there were nine late trains. So I wrote the number nine once. So this is the number of late trains every day. Um, and perhaps with the data set out like this, you might find it easier to find the median. Um, just as a reminder, the median is Oh, sorry, I put an M. That's an N. It's median. Median. Uh, the median is the middle number when your data is in order. So I'm going to put middle number bracket in order. So I have conveniently written out all of our data in order, so we just need to find the middle number. Uh, most people like to do that by sort of crossing off from both ends. So I'm going to cross off one from here and one from here. Uh, one and one. Now there is quite a lot of data, and it's very easy to lose track of whether you've crossed off like both at the same time and moved your way inwards but we can we can see that the median is going to be three uh, and it is fine to say to, to do it that way and say the median is three but we didn't need to write out that data uh, we could have done it straight from the diagram we could have crossed them off a bit like this so cross 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 and then the next one down is here then here and here here and here here and here and so on and we would have still got three as the median uh, part B is the really tricky part. Uh, Lena says the median number of late trains in a day from this information is a good estimate of the average number of trains late over the period of time. So, uh, and then we have to state is, is Lena correct and give a brief explanation. Um, it's tricky. Basically, it's asking us is the median a good um, type of average? There are lots of different ways of answering this question, and honestly, I think one of the easiest ways to explain it is just to show you the mark scheme here. So if we zoom in a little bit and scroll down slightly, oh, come on, uh, it's, it, it's down here. Uh, you could have said no because the mode is two. So by finding a different average, um, we said the median was three. So the fact that the mode is two and those are obviously different would mean that no, it's not a good average. But alternatively, if you'd have tried to find the mean, which, was, which would take a lot of work, honestly, um, 3.5 is pretty close to our median of three. So you could have said, yes, it is valid. Um, or alternatively, the third option they give, uh, you could have said it doesn't take into account the number of days where there were no late trains. So if we look back to our diagram, there were probably days where there were no late trains, but that's not included on our diagram. You can see that for seven and eight, there were no trains that were late on those days and they just didn't include any stars. So if there were actually no, no days where there were no late trains, they could have put that on the diagram too. Um, so that's not being taken into account. So I, I think this is really tricky. I, I think the perhaps easiest answer would be to say, uh, no, the mode is two, uh, mode being the most common. And I know that two is the mode because it's the, it's, the, it's the number of late trains that happened the most often. There were two late trains more often than there were any other number of late trains. So the mode is two. Or if you think back to when we had our big list of numbers at the top, two was the number that appeared the most often in that list. So um, no, the mode is two, um, and that's why I think the median of three is not a good estimate of the average. Um, and also remember, mean, mode, and median are all types of average. So when it says here, the average, it could be talking about the mode, median, or mode, which is why it's fine for us to say the mode is two, that's the average, which is very different to the median of three. Um, honestly, overall, I don't, I don't love that last part of the question, but the first part, hopefully that was okay. Um, you can always find the median, even if it's from a weird um, diagram that displays the data. 
hope that helps. On to the next one.